Welcome back to Just Bushy. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing set number 76156, The Eternals Rise of Domo. This, as you can see, is a triangle. Um. No, it's a square. <laughs> logic. Um. Comes with <laughs> the ship. Um. Six minifigures and two deviants. So let's get into it. Starting with the deviants. Just kidding, I'm going to be starting with the minifigures. So the first one is Fastos. He is the only dark skinned eternal. He has purple, a purple and blue suit. All of them have double-sided heads. I'm just not going to show them. Maybe if I get the entire set of Eternals, all ten, I'll show them all in good detail. Um, this is the one that has, has the power of technology, I think. Maybe. Was that Gilgamesh? I have no clue. So yeah, Bastos. The next one is my favorite Eternal. Makari. 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 Which hobbies? <laughs> Look at the description. Subscribe. To me and him. He was threatening me. So, this is Makari. I have two Makaris, as you can see. This one here, and this one back here. Um, because I got two eternal sets, I'm probably going to upload the other one after I upload this video, so watch out for that. Makari has a really cool suit and a really cool, really cool hairpiece with a hole in the top. This might be one of the friends head pieces. Maybe. All the Eternals have super good leg printing too. So that's Macaulay. Next one is Drig. My least favorite Eternal. Mm -hmm. Drig is horrible. He is horrible. And the minifigure. Just the head and hair. The other side is scary. So, he is the one with the power to mind control anyone he wants. He could have um, stopped like world wars and stuff, but he was told not to for character development or something. But then he mm -hmm. takes, but then he takes a whole village. So it's fine. Spoilers. <laughs> The next Eternal is Cersei. Cersei? Yeah, Cersei. Cersei, for some reason, has a green suit. I don't know if she actually has a green suit in the movie. But, um... I think she does. I'm not very sure, though. They don't really wear their suits in the movies. Cool suit. Probably my favorite suit out of the bunch. is Athena. She has blonde hair, the only blonde haired Eternal. And I think the ex had to get it dyed for the role in real life. Cool suit. Not my favorite though. And the last one, Icarus. Icarus has a blue suit. He can fly shoot lasers out of his eyes, and I think he has super strength, maybe? Not very sure. It's like the MCU version of Superman. His kryptonite is the sun. As seen at the end of the movie. He flies into the sun and kills himself, which is pretty sad. 
This is probably my favorite suit out of the bunch. He's pretty mean in the movies, so don't really mind that he kills himself. So, the minifigures. Now let's look at the deviants. So we'll go pretty fast because I don't really have anything to say about the deviants. So here's this one. It's a four-legged deviant. They all have these really cool, like, sensible wave pieces or something. They have a lot of them, and I actually got duplicates, the uh, extras, which is really cool. All with built heads, except for the other deviants that I'm going to be showing. Hate the feet, up, the feet build on this deviant, though. Just hate it. It's, it was hard to build and stuff. This one, as I was told, looks like a man. <laughs> he has four eyes like the rest of them, I think. And, yeah, I think of this one as the one that takes the power of, um, takes the power of the other person. Oh my gosh, I can't think of the name right now. The one that died. The one that, like, The one that, like, dies in the beginning. So there's that one. Now, the last thing to look at. The ship. Let's move the minifigures. The stand broke, which is sad, but it's fine. It's a little light girl, so fix it. The ship is really cool. It has, a, it has really cool colors in it, and these really cool pieces, you can't really tell from a camera, but you can't scan. You can have to really look at it. I'm gonna have to look at it. Look at the audio. The, the video. But here is, here's a better look at it. Um, there's those really cool squiggly pieces, which is really cool. And the ship can open up, so just Hopefully I don't break it like my last draft of this. I filmed it yesterday. Boom. So I don't really know how to do this, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wing it. Okay. Um So the cockpit is at the tip of the ship. Tip of the ship. Really cool stickers and stuff. Can't really see it because it's dark in there. On this wall, there's a staff of Athena. And that little fist for it. Oh my gosh, I can't remember his name. Let's see. Um, I don't know. Fat boy. There you go. <laughs> More weapons. There's a loose piece in there. There's also a coffee machine. And back here, I like to think of this as, I like to think, I like to think of, <laughs> I like to think of this as Macari's little stash of stuff she stole throughout the movie. And throughout, just like the time she was alive, pretty much. <laughs> like, yeah. This is Erisham. Micro scale, like super micro scale. It's like the hologram type thing that he tells you yeah. to talk to. Him. Yeah, but this actually set with Ersham, and I'm hoping that I'm gonna get it. Um, there's this weird thing, which I'm not sure what it is. I'm gonna have to rewatch the movie to see what it is. But yeah. Shit. That is pretty much the end of the video. If you went on to enjoy, please consider liking and slash or subscribing. And then you don't have to do any of that, and you probably won't like any of my other videos. <laughs> no, I do a lot of random content. I think I'm like one of the first random content YouTubers ever now. I just like do whatever. So, me and you. But I'm like the first, because I made my channel. Ah! Ha!
Ha ha. <laughs> Sisters. Oh yeah, there's one more thing that was in the set. This is the last thing. It's just a stupid glider thing that never appeared in the movie. Music to my ears. <laughs>